Welcome to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Six teams out of eight made it. Manicolin State University of Applied Sciences, Midland State University, Chinoy University of Technology, Harare Institute of Technology, National University of Science and Technology, and Lupana State University. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the semi-finals. Only two teams out of six will make it to the finals. Let the challenge begin. So now I just want to take you through some of the medals that these universities are actually competing for. I'm your host and presenter, Vanessa T. Amidu. So we have also the medals for those who make it to the semi-final. And here we have the grand trophy and the prize. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the trophy for the best of the university's quiz challenge 2019. I'm telling you, who are you gunning for? Please tell me on Facebook, tell me on Twitter, hashtag inspire learning, hashtag unique challenge. And also we have a medal for the best resilient team that we had in this competition because you know it gets tough but other teams have been fighting through it so now catch me also when I take you through more Round three, semi-finals, six teams and only two are going to make it into the finals. This is the best of the university's quiz challenge. And today we have a group B clash between Chinoy University of Technology and Harare Institute of Technology. So I'm going to allow them time to introduce themselves. My name is Tembani Kumalo, your host and your quiz masters. Team one. Hi, we're from Chinoy University of Technology, Team Shaniva, a combination of our names, Ngoni, Chantel, and Trevor. We're in it to win it. Team two. Hello, I'm Sisicha Parika from HIT, and this is Arnold Kastanambure and Patience Chimboza, and HIT Eagles win at all costs. Today's show is proudly brought to you by Say What in partnership with the Ministry of Health and Childcare, the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education, and the Embassy of Sweden in Zimbabwe. Segment one. One question number one. What is the difference between therapeutic HIV vaccine and the preventative HIV vaccine? Question number two. In contraception research, what does the abbreviation ECH4 ECHO stand for? I'll repeat question number one. What is the difference between therapeutic HIV vaccine and preventative HIV vaccine? And for question number two, in contraception research, what does the abbreviation ECHO stand for? Your time starts now. has played a pivotal role in providing reassuring evidence on HIV risk and contraceptives. But the question still remains, what does the abbreviation ECHO stand for? Remember, our hashtags are Inspire Learning, hashtag BOTUQC2019, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Over to you, Quizmaster. Time's up. Team one, please read out your answers. Uh, so the first one, the art is to lower the viral load of an already infected person, whilst the other one is to prevent one from acquiring the virus or being attacked by the virus. That's PEP and PrEP. Question number two. Therefore, question number two, we ran out of time. Thank you. And team two. The first one, therapeutic, is to boost uh, one CD4 count. And the second one is to prevent infection, for example, PrEP. Question two. The second one, we ran out of time as well. Thank you. Question number three. Are you guys ready? Yes. Question number three. Give any two examples of HIV cure strategies currently being investigated in cure research. And question number four. One of the benefits of VMMC is that it removes immune cells in the foreskin, which are the first targets of HIV when men are exposed to the virus. Name any one cell found in the foreskin of the penis, which is easily targeted by HIV. I'll repeat question number three. Give any two examples of HIV cure strategies currently being investigated in cure research. And question number four. One of the benefits of VMMC is that it removes immune cells in the foreskin, which are the first targets of HIV when men are exposed to the virus. Name any one cell found in the foreskin of the penis, which is easily targeted by HIV. Your time starts now.
There is still no known cure for HIV. However, scientists' efforts to improve treatment, prevention and awareness tools are continuing to have a positive impact on the lives of many until a cure is discovered. Let's see if the teams know any HIV cure strategies. Over to you, Quizmaster. Time's up. Team one, please read out your answers. So for the first one, we have enzyme ELISA. And the second one, receptor cells. Thank you. Team two. The first one we have to reduce viral load and the second one is epidermal cells. Thank you. I'll read, that the, I'll read out the answers that I have. For question number one, a therapeutic HIV vaccine is a vaccine that's designed to improve the body's immune response to HIV in a person who, has, who already has HIV, whilst a preventative HIV vaccine is given to people who do not have HIV with the goal of preventing HIV in the future when they are exposed to the virus. For question number two, evidence on contraceptive opportunities and HIV outcomes is the answer. For question number three, shock and kill, gene therapy or manipulation, immune modulation and for question number four lung gum cells and t cells more to come after the break stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge remember our hashtags are botuqc2019 hashtag inspire learning and hashtag unique challenge Quizmaster, let's get to it. We are back and this is semi-final two of segment two of the best of the university's quiz challenge. Are you guys ready? Yes. yes. Question number five. In the Zimbabwean constitution, the declaration of rights is on what chapter and sections? And question number six. Death related to ultra-rapid metabolism is due to the abuse of which substance? I'll repeat question number five. In the Zimbabwean constitution, the declaration of rights is on what chapter and sections? And question number six. Death related to ultra-rapid metabolism is due to the abuse of which substance? Your time starts now. Questions are getting more complex, but both teams are definitely going for gold. Remember to catch us live on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to join in on this conversation. Our hashtags are Inspire Learning, hashtag BOTUQC2019, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Over to you, Quizmaster. Time's up. Team One, please read out your answer. It's under Human Rights Commission, Chapter 54, and number six is cocaine. Thank you. Please hand over your transcript. Team two, please read out your answer. The first answer is Chapter 4, and the second one is cocaine. Thank you. Question number seven. Which king of rock and roll died in 1977 due to substance abuse, precisely prescription drugs? And question number eight, give an example for a country in Africa which does not permit abortion under any circumstances. I'll repeat question number seven. Which king of rock and roll died in 1977 due to substance abuse, precisely prescription drugs? And question number eight, give an example for a country in Africa which does not permit abortion under any circumstances. Your time starts now. Born January the 8th, 1935, this American singer has been regarded as one of the most significant cultural icons in the 20th century. His first ever producer was Sam Phillips, who wanted to bring the sound of African-American music to a wider audience. The question is, do you know the king of rock and roll's name? Over to you, Tembani. Time's up. Team one, please read out your answers. Number seven, Luda Chris. Number eight, Egypt. Thank you. Team two. Number seven, Elvis Presley. Number eight, Zambia. Thank you. And I'll read out the answers that I have here. For number five, the answer is chapter four, section 48 to 78. For question six, the answer is Codeine. 
Okodain. For question number seven, the answer is Elvis Presley. And for question number eight, the answer the answers include Angola, Congo Brazzaville, Congo Kinshasa, Egypt, Gabon, Guinea Bissau, Madagascar, Mauritania, Sao Tom, and Principe, Senegal. This is the best of the university's quiz challenge. Will your favorite teams make it to the finals? Let us know through our hashtag, which is hashtag inspire learning, hashtag BOTUQC 2019, and hashtag unique challenge. More to come after the break. Stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break. Welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC2019, hashtag Inspire Learning, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Quizmaster, let's get to it. We are back, and this is the best of the university's quiz challenge. And now we are on segment number three. How are you guys feeling? Still alive. Still alive. <laughs> Question number nine. What is the main action of non-nucleosides ARV drugs? And question number 10, what is the difference between immunization and vaccination? I'll repeat question number 9. What is the main action of non-nucleosides ARV drugs? And question number 10, what is the difference between immunization and vaccination? Your time starts now. Questions are definitely getting heated in question 9 and 10. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC2019, hashtag Inspire Learning, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Remember to catch us live on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and you can win yourself a $25 worth of airtime if you get the winner right. Over to you, Tembani. Time's up. Team one, please read out your answer. Uh, it inhibits the replication of HIV. First, for number 10, immunization is introducing a, an already weak infection or virus in the body of a healthy person so that it develops anti antibodies to fight the infection and prevent the and prevent chances of future infection. Whilst vaccination is completely treating or curing or removing the disease or infection. Thank you, please hand over your script. Team two. Uh, the first answer is it prevents attack on the nucleus of the T cell. The second one, immunization is to cure an already infection and vaccination is to prevent an infection once exposed. Thank you. Question number 11. Give any two examples of cancers which affect men's reproductive system. And question number 12, BNABS, which is small caps B, large caps NA, and small caps BS, are being studied for antibody meditated prevention using a method called passive immunization. What does the abbreviation BNABS stand for? I'll repeat question number 11. Give any two examples of cancers which affect men's reproductive system. And for question number 12, BNABS, which is small caps B, large caps NA, small caps BS, are being studied for antibody meditated prevention using a method called passive immunization. What does the abbreviation BNABS stand for? Your time starts now. Men, come a little closer so I can tell you something. Cancer screening for men is vital because there is an early detection offering a better chance to cure the disease. Screening is also vital so that you always know your health state. The change starts with you when you go for screening. So start making a difference and know exactly where you stand. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC2019, hashtag Inspire Learning and hashtag Unique Challenge. Over to you, Tembani. Time's up. Team 1, please read out your answer. Number 11, prostate cancer and testicular cancer. Uh, number 12, BNABS. We couldn't run out of time. Thank you. Please hand over your script. Team 2. Uh, the first two cancers are prostate cancer and leukemia. And number 12, we did not have an answer. Thank you. For the answers that I have, question number 9. It binds to and block reverses HIV transcriptase. For question number 10, 
Vaccine is a substance used to stimulate the production of antibodies and provide immunity against one or several diseases prepared from the causative agent of a disease. Its products are a synthetic substitute treated to act as an as an antigen without inducing the disease. Vaccination is when a vaccine administered to an, to an individual, usually by an, by an injection. Immunization refers to the process of both getting the vaccine and becoming immune to the disease following the vaccination. For question number 11, the answer that I have is pineal cancer and prostate cancer. And for question number 12, the answer that I have is broadly neutralizing antibodies. Are your favorite teams going to make it to the finals? Results after the break. Stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break. Welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC2019, hashtag Inspire Learning, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Quizmaster, let's get to it. Well, the quiz show came about uh, when we initiated the Action for Choice project which is targeting 10 state universities in Zimbabwe. So the quiz competition is one of those activities that we have on the project lined up for the students. We went for something innovative, exciting for the young people. Say what is a youth-based organization. We are looking for ways that will remain exciting and intriguing for young people. And we thought probably Hearts and Soul could actually do it. This is the first time we've done this. So it's a stepping stone for us, it's a new experience, it's something that we're hoping would last for a long time within Say What. Round three, semi-finals, six teams and only two are going to make it into the finals. And with me here are the score sheet for the clash between Chinoy University of Technology and Harare Institute of Technology. Ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of the third and final segment. Who will reign in this episode, heat or cut? Results to be announced in a moment. He takes the lead with 65 points, whilst Cut lags behind with 52.5 points. Congratulations to the Harare Institute of Technology. See you in the next episode on the best of the university's quiz challenge. Group C semi-finals and this is the best of the university's quiz challenge. Will your favorite teams make it? Oh, let us know. Our hashtags are hashtag inspire learning. Hashtag BOTUQC2019 and hashtag Unique Challenge. So during our next episode, we are going to have a clash between the National University of Science and Technology against Lupane State University. So until then, it's goodbye. The best of the university's quiz challenge, brought to you by Say What, in proud partnership with the Embassy of Sweden in Zimbabwe, the Ministry of Health and Childcare, the Ministry of High and Tertiary Education, and the National AIDS Council.